Hello everybody and welcome back to season 27 of the Pokemon NASCAR series. Today we're here in Circuit Jill Villeneuve in Montreal, Canada for the continuation of World Tour 27, the Napa Auto Parts 200. Last time we were in Canadian Tire and now this time we're in our second straight track in Canada at the world famous Circuit Jill Villeneuve. Amat Setiawan is on the pole today and Dylan Thoreau starts on the front row. Pete Hsu and Sam Rogers in row two. Cody Ballard and Annie Thomas are in row three. Amari Stoudemire Jr., Luke Walker in row four, and Ryan Acosta and Avi Sachs are in row five. Let's not waste any time, as Acevedo, by the way, our winner from Canadian Tire, starts dead last. So that's going to be a very long shot for him to get to repeat his success at Canadian last race. But <laughs> so Acevedo's got a lot of tough act to follow from his last race. Now let's take you down trackside for the command to fire up the engines here in Montreal. Drivers, start your engines! Well, my custom commands aren't working right now, but still, it's not going to make a difference. Pace car comes rolling down, and this track is known for having bizarre finishes and wrecks. So this is definitely going to be a wreck fest, I know for sure, but who will survive? This track always provides crazy racing, and we will see another one here this season. I've always loved the track for its weird kinks and weird... Everything is weird about this track, so... For some of these rookies, it's the first time experiencing Montreal, and they're going to get a taste of what it is like, and it's not going to be good. It's going to be a pretty sour taste, if any. Pace car comes down. Oh wow, even the pace car hit the wall a little bit. You know how you know how bad Montreal is when the pace car hits the wall on his way down. So, yeah, it's pretty bad. So here we go. We're going to try to have the best race possible at this track. Green flag in the air. Here it's Circuit Jill Villeneuve. Wow, Seyoan got off to a rocky start. And Dylan Thoreau pulls away already. The craziness, though, it's only just begun. Here they come down the hard kick. Oh, Seyoan gets hit. And he flips. And he's stuck in that wall. And the craziness has begun. Wow. Tough break for the pole setter right off the bat. Man, he just couldn't avoid the wreckage. And already he's the first victim of Montreal. We'll definitely be seeing more victims as the race goes on. This kink has also been one of the toughest kinks to go. The 42 of Orchard is around. Sydney Orchard just could not hang on and spins. And not surprisingly, the yellow is out. Not surprisingly. Wow. What was it for, exactly? Oh boy, could be anything. Huh. It might have been for the set, might have been for the, oh, might have been for the five right here. Yeah, might have been for the five of Johnny Gardner. Even though that the um, other car spun early as well on that corner, it appears that that was the reason for the caution. But Amon you on a tough break, was on the pole and he gets involved in chaos first time around. And Thoreau is your leader, racing to the caution flag. This race is going to be a bizarre race for sure, so you better, you guys better hang on tight. This is going to be fun. Whether you like it or not. Four cars out of the race. Fitzwater, Romanuk, Seyuan, and Rogers. And I'm not surprised. Again, this is the start of the craziness in Montreal. So we could be seeing more cars out of the race. Green flag in the air again. Thoreau pulls to the lead. He's been one of the dominant cars at Canadian Tire. And road, course apparent, road courses apparently are his expertise because... He's been in the top, he's been in front right now again. And this time he's looking to win. 
Might be his best chance to win here to this season. Oh, I think he has a win. I'm not sure, but either way, though, might be another opportunity to win. And now Casey's upside down. And the 77 of Anthony Lopez and the 21 of Cody Smart are piled up. Again, no caution. Apparently, Rex in this turn don't cause a caution anymore. How weird is that? But Rex in this turn cause a yellow. And we have another one. The 15 Josh Crash spins on his own. Can he go? Can he continue the race? It looks like he will continue the race. And he's going to continue the race. He's going to keep going. So no full course yellow yet. Sometimes it causes a full yellow, sometimes it doesn't. It is so weird. This track is just weird as for many reasons. And we're gonna get a very rare green flag run here in Montreal. So lately, they've been trying to make this more green while at the same time trying to keep the wrecks intact. So they've done a great job in improving the track somehow with uh, fewer cautions. At least that allows the drivers in front more uh, more chances to contest with a lead. Down the casino turn to the carousel, and now Pichu might be closing in on the 19. However, it's going to take a miracle for these guys to gain ground on the leader since this is a road course. You don't normally see drivers battling for the lead in road courses, but Montreal might surprise you. We saw one battle for the lead in, Mon in Jill Vel in the last race. That decided who won the race. Now on to the kink again. Going to keep our eyes on it. Side by side. Oh, Acosta had a slow down and Jared Lewis spins around. Around goes Jared Lewis. So far, no caution. And the green and the green run will continue. So it's impressive to see a green flag run here in Montreal. Again, they've made improvements, so I'm glad they did. It was much needed. It was about time because they was starting to become more wreckful. And now the leaders pit. They don't want to take chances. At this point, they do not want to take chances, but fuel and tires probably will be the least of their worries. Couple cars pitting. Oh, the one Paul Barber in the wall, but he is able to get through and able to continue le and continue the race. Pichu's in front now. Question is, how long will these guys have to pit? And will that one pit stop be enough? We've seen drivers take two or three pit stops during the race. So the question is, how long is the pit window in this um, race? It just never tells us, so looks like we're looks like we're gonna have to see if these cars can make it on just one pit stop. We might see some drivers gambling at the end if they're if they stay greed. Pichu still in front. He hits the wall a little bit, but is able to continue the race. Amari Stoudemire Jr. is running third. He's looking for his fourth win this season. And that would be amazing to have four wins, to have four race wins. It would be so amazing to have four race wins before the championship, even though he's really deep in the points, but still, four wins though would be impressive. Let's see if any of these guys will pit on this lap. Apparently not. Huh. That's strange. So those guys in front pitted early. I'm not sure why, but I guess they're saving for the worst. They're prepping for the worst here. They're prepping for a yellow. F I guess these guys are hoping for a yellow flag. And so far, no yellow. Only one caution, by the way, has come out in um, Jill Velenev through, eight la through seven laps. Very impressive streak. And that's probably the first time that they've had that streak so far. So it's been still clean. Oh, I think we've had a call. Oh, yeah, I think we had a caution free race um, in this track once. Decided to turn off cautions for one season. 
to see how it would work. And boy, was that disastrous. That race was complete disaster. It's not surprising because no cautions meant no rules. And everybody just went all out. But now there is cautions again. And things are in control for now. Oh, no! 47 and 7 get contact. It looked like the 7 was going to make a pass, but I had to slow down on the kink. And wow, massive slowdown on that kink. Guess you can't make a pass on this kink without having to forcibly slow down dramatically. So I guess they're going to have to wait until after the kink to make their moves. Weird. Looks like some of these, oh, are these going to, oh, wow, no, no pit stops yet. Huh. So I wonder if they're ever going to pit on this uh, race. Eight to go, halfway through at, Kine at Circuit Jill Villeneuve. Couple cars do pit though. John Arnett coming down, Kyle Collins because of damage. And the 14th, Dylan, I mean, DJ Curtis. Hmm. Looks like Arnett's gonna take the strategy route. And right now, Thoreau's up to 22nd place, and Garner 23rd. But all these drivers in front of him have yet to pit! One, oh, wow, look at the damage Pichu sustained from hitting the wall a couple times. Question is, will he hang on over Cody Ballard and Omari Stoudemire Jr.? He's, he, has, he knows he can't mess up now. But it's really easy to take a wrong turn at this track. It's very easy. So, well, got to be extremely careful. Do the best he could. Maybe stay alive. He already has, well, he already has a win this season. So, Pichu has never, I think Pichu has never won at this track. He would love to have a win here in his, for the first time here at Jill Velenev. Wouldn't that be something? The Penske team have been have been dominating most of the season. Stoudemire Jr. has three wins. Um, Lewis has one win. And Pichu has two wins. Wait a minute. Pichu does have two wins. I'm sorry. Both of his wins came in California. The first was Auto Club. The second was Sonoma. So both of his wins came in California in the Golden State. And now he's looking to win for the first time in Canada. He's going to get his first ever win in Canada in Circuit Jill Velenev. One of the toughest, if not the weirdest tracks in the in the Pokemon NASCAR schedule. But it has improved, like I said. Cautions have been lesser and have been gone have been more less. And the racing has been more interesting, so it has improved dramatically from the previous season's races here. Look at the 20 and 7 gonna battle for position. I wonder who's gonna win that battle. This is for seventh. Cullen Francis trying to join in. And the 7 gets by the 20, even before the kink. So the 7 successfully makes a pass. It shows that you could make a pass at this track, but you just got to have the right amount of speed. And the caution comes for the second time today. Second to Only the second time the caution came out. And this is going to change everything. Going to set up a couple lap showdown. So now things are interesting. Will the, will the drivers commit to pit? Or will they go for it? Or will they try to go for it all? The question is though, will, driver, will the leaders commit? Or will they go for it? Let's see what the caution came out for. Long time. And the caution came for um, this one. I think this was. I think this brought out the yellow. Ooh, Joseph Lombard and Josh Crash. Not so great on that final chicane. Oh, Thoreau with damage. Oh, that's costly. Looks like his strategy might have just gone out the window. Yep, looks like Thoreau's strategy might have just gone out the window. Josh crashes out. 
And with damage in the 19, it doesn't look like that strategy is going to work out to him at the end. Pichu comes down to pit road, so does Stonemar, but Cody Ballard, he's going to take chances. He's going to stay out. He's going to hope to make it to the line without a pit stop. Maybe not possible, but still, he's the leader with just... Oh, no, he's going to pit. He can't make it. Oh, man, these guys can't make it with four to go. How weird is that? Uh, the leader will be John Andrews to the green. How weird is that? Green flag out again. John Andrews leads. Oh, boy, this is going to get crazy. And look who's second. Grayson Acevedo. He started dead last. He started dead last. Now he's working his way up to the front again. Oh, wow. Acevedo started dead last. He's looking to win both Canada races in Canada. He might have a chance to do so if Andrew screws up. Looks like everybody's... Oh, Paul Barber can't make it. It's the wall. No caution. Everybody stays intact. Andrew stays out. He's going to take a chance. Acevedo runs second, and Pichu has run third. He pitted during the yellow flag, by the way, so if these two pit, he might have an opportunity to retake the lead, unless if a caution comes, and those two might try to stay out. John Andrews has a win, by the way, earlier this season, so being a two-time winner in the 43 would be amazing for, the, for John if he could hang on. Second place is now Acevedo. Of course, he's trying to win both races in Canada. He only has Jill Velenev remaining. John Andrews, the other stay, and Pichu will pit. I guess he just didn't have enough. How weird is that? Pichu didn't have enough to pit. Big crash in the back, and that's the race. Caution comes, and Stonemar Jr. leads. What a weird time for a caution. And that's going to be the race right there. There's the caution down the kinks. Everybody just spins. Yeah. Didn't happen before, and I'm not sure how it happened this time. Wow. Stoudemire Jr. leads. The question is, will he hang on? It doesn't look like he will. Wait a minute. They're ruling Jacob Lawler as the leader? What? This happens, this kind of almost always happens here at uh, Montreal when there was a leader out in front. They just, oh my god, he's really slow. He's not going to make it. Um, okay. Are they going to pass through Lawler? Can, will they allow him to? They will. So that was a weird glitch there, but still, I hope nobody wrecks into the Lawler machine. I really hope they don't. Looks like they won't. Looks like the top 10 will escape from Lawler's crutches. Okay. That's just weird. They had Lawler as the leader at one point, but I'm not sure how that is even possible. But Stoudemire is back as the leader. Will he hang on? If he does, it's his fourth win of the season, and that is just impressive. Yeah, he's going to take a chance. He's going to do it. Final corner for Amari Stoudemire Jr. It looks like he's going to hang on, and Amari Stoudemire Jr. is going to win the Nap Auto Parts 200 at Circa Jill Velenev in Montreal for his fourth win of the season. Four wins already for the two machine. He has just been on fire. And he adds another win here in the season. Amazing. Four wins for the two has just been incredible. And it's just been lucky for him. He's really lucky to have won this many races this season. Amazing. And that'll do it here from Montreal as Amari Stoudemire Jr. collects win number four in season 27.
And here are the rest of the results on the left. It was a pretty weird race, but Sotomar Jr., right strategy, right time, is able to win today's race. And here's the rest of the field. Well, not as bizarre as it was previously, but still, it was a pretty fun race in Montreal. Next race will be our debut race at Batengas in the Philippines. It's the newest track, a road course track for NR Town 3. Made from the great John Norton. John Norton makes some awesome tracks, and even some of his tracks were even used for this season in the Pokemon NASCAR series. So, a big shout out to John Norton because his one of his tracks is coming up next. We're going to be heading there at Batengas in the Philippines. It's only the second race of that country, and uh, the Clark race was in season 14, I think was the first one but now we're back to the philippines next race at baton gas our debut race at the track hopefully it'll be fun so it looks promising and i'm hoping that this will be a fun race from start to finish that's it from here today we will see you at at baton gas in montreal as amari stanamar i mean baton gas in the philippines i should say whoops and we will see Amari Stoudemire Jr. in victory lane for the fourth time this season. What an impressive run of four wins for Stoudemire Jr. He has just been on fire. But that'll do it here from Montreal. We will see you in the Philippines in Baton Gas. Yes.